What's up guys, it's Rev Cruz here and welcome back to a new video on the channel and today I just want to give you guys a quick apology for the very lack of uploads like I haven't even uploaded for two weeks and I just want to apologize to you guys and I'm going to try to uh, try to upload as more as I can but you know this school as you guys don't know I'm actually like really trying to get done with school and stuff and get my shit together you know <laughs> sorry for the profile language but I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video just get just please cut me some slack and um yeah uh, i don't know when my next video is going to be out but i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys do slap the like button and i catch you guys with the next time with another video peace what is up you guys it's Rath cruise here and welcome back to a new video on the channel and today i'm going to show you guys how you guys can make a 3d minecraft green screen intro now many of you guys i can see like a lot of you guys have like minecraft uh like minecraft content on your guys's channels and stuff so i decided to try to make you guys uh a, a little intro tutorial a minecraft intro tutorial because i've been gone for two weeks now and I just want to apologize for the lack of uploads. You know, I'm I'm still in school. You know, I'm trying to get myself together. I got a job and stuff. So, you know, I got a lot of stuff to do. So I'm not going to be uploading as much. But anyways, what you guys will need for this is, yes, for the first time, you guys will need actually need Kind Master and Power Director. So if you guys don't have Power Director or Kind Master, uh, and you guys will need video layer for Kai Master as well. So if you guys don't know how to do that, um, links will always be in the description. You guys can go check it out. And also the power director with the video layer and stuff. So for this, what you guys will need is Pixel Lab, Photoshop Touch, Skin Viewer, Power Director, and Kai Master. These, all these three apps right here are free in the Play Store. But these two apps you will need to download as of right now. Uh, so first thing you guys want to do is go on ahead and open up pixel Lab. once you guys have opened up pixel app now what you guys will need to do is simply tap on this a right here and go to edit and just type in the name as you guys wish so i'm gonna do that right quick which is wrath of course so now what you guys want to do now is simply come over here and go on ahead and tap on size and of course you guys want to increase the size but this time you guys don't want to increase the size of that much probably to like 130 128 doesn't matter now what you guys will need to do is simply change the font. In order to change the font, you guys will need to search for this AB font right here, which says it right there. Just tap on that and it should pull up a bunch of fonts and stuff. If you guys don't know how to get your own fonts, link will also be in the description. But I got my own font and for some odd reason, I really love this font. So um, I'm just going to increase the size just a little bit more actually probably to like 135 there we go so now what you guys have done that now what you guys will need to do is simply come over here and go into stroke enable the stroke and put it up to 10 ish or eight yeah eight eight looks fine and then now you guys want to enable the the uh, 3d text bring this down to four and then now what you guys are done that enable and boss now this will give that like a little 3d -ish, 3d ish look as you guys can tell just press the check mark now what you guys have done is simply come over into color, choose any color you guys want. And as you guys can see, if you guys don't know how to choose it, just simply press on this plus sign. You guys get to choose whatever color you guys wish. Before this, I'm going to press cancel and I'm going to choose purple because purple is technically my favorite color. And again, if you guys want to put like both colors, let's say if I want uh, this, all these colors right here, purple, just simply tap purple. If I want all, all of it purple, just tap a purple but for right now i just want w a purple color which is right there but instead i'm actually gonna put it all white and then actually i'm gonna go back to w and put the purple color all right so now what you guys have done that simply tap on these two boxes right here and just add in the transparent background and right now you guys are pretty much done tap on the save card and go to save as image and save to gallery and i'll meet you guys in photoshop touch all right, so once you guys have opened this up, now what you guys will need to do is tap on this plus sign and just uh, it just doesn't matter um, because your text is not going to be that big, of course. So just load it in. Now what you guys will need to do is tap on this plus sign, go into photo layer and go into pixel lab, which I'm going to do. Now what you guys have done, now you guys can increase the size, which is all, um, what, what I'm going to do right here. Oh my gosh, I'm not dragging it. Thank you. All right, so now what you guys have done, now, just simply center it and just press that check mark. And then now what you guys will need to do is simply tap on this plus sign once more and duplicate the layer. 
and then now you guys will need to tap on the bottom one and simply press on the end sign actually the effects my bad and go into basic and then go into glow once you guys are in glow choose uh choose the color of your first um as you guys can see right there what because my first letter is purple if you guys um if you guys like use blue use a blue uh glow but what you guys have done that you guys want to tap on it again and then now what you guys will need to do is simply go into style last and tap on glass now what you guys have tapped on glass increase it you, you increase this as well and you guys will get that like that little particle effect in the background as you guys see right there and i for some odd reason i really do like it i just love the look of it actually so now what you guys have done that just simply tap on back and press save and then i'll meet you guys in 3d skin uh 3d skin viewer my bad once you guys have opened up skin viewer now what you guys will need to do is simply grab your skin now this is very easy if you guys don't have skins simply tap on this little three bars up right here and go into skin browser and this is going to take you to the website of the skins so as you guys can see it will take you to this website and i'm pretty sure everybody knows this website because everybody goes to it for minecraft skins and stuff and for some reason it's really taking a long time to load so oh there we go now it's loading so you guys get to choose your minecraft skin and stuff like that um it's still loading so but you guys will see it you know but for right now i'm just going to use the de default one just simply tap once you guys used your skin simply tap on 3d viewer right loading here. so give it a minute now what you guys have done that simply uh there should be like a little three part part right here and what i like to do is i like to raise his arms up like that simply just you guys will get the uh movements and stuff like that i like to raise his arms like that and tap on this and go into bend mode once you guys are in bend mode tap on bend mode once more and just drag your finger down from his elbow which is right here so you guys can bend bend their arms and stuff you guys can bend the legs if you guys wish and then now what you guys will need to do um i think that's pretty much it um you guys can actually make him ho hold like armor like wear diamond armor and stuff like that the um <laughs> the um armor and stuff so you guys want to go minecraft modifications which is right here you guys can actually do armor and it will say apply diamond armor and then you guys want to go ahead and do it again and go hand items and it's going to give you guys some stuff so dime everybody knows diamond sword because you know you guys get to switch if you guys want it on the left or on the right so what i do is now if you guys go into 3d viewer it will be right there so now you guys get the twirl, uh, turn no sword as you guys wish. So right now, again, if you guys want it, you guys can easily go into bend mode and just hook up your character, I guess you can say. Just like that, kind of like make him bend his arm and stuff. Uh, raise it, I forgot to raise his arms. But once you guys have done that, I will see you guys in Kai Master. Once you guys have opened up Kai Master, now what you guys will need to do is grab a plain background color. So I'm gonna do that real quick. All right, so once you guys have done that, now what you guys will need to do is simply increase the size to probably like seven or eight seconds. For this, I'm gonna do eight. So now what you guys have done that, simply tap on it and just change the color to green. So now there goes your green screen. So now what you guys will now need to do is simply tap on this and go into image. Sim simply, okay. simply go into your um your Adobe Photoshop images and find your image, which is right here. So now what you guys have done that, just simply increase it to the end right there. So then now what you guys will need to do is simply grab. Now what you guys will need to do is simply grab your Minecraft image and just probably put it like right there. So now what you guys will need to do is now is just send to back. And now as you guys can see, you guys will get that like that 3 ish look right there where he's actually the back of your text. It would be good if he's actually like on the, um, what should I call, or like if it's your skin basically. So now you guys are pretty much done with this. So now you guys will need to do is just adding your music. Grab the black image, right? As you guys can see, as I did right here, just simply increase it to like up here. But this time you guys want to move it to the middle, which is right here. 
Um, so now what you guys have done that, simply duplicate it and just put it in the same spot, which I'm gonna do right quick. All right, so now what you guys have done that, just simply, you guys are pretty much done with this. Now you guys will need to add in like a little 2D, like a 2D animation effect. So I'm gonna do that real quick. All right, so now what you guys have done that, uh, I'm going to mute this. If you guys don't know, this is my very own 2D animation. And yes, there is a download link for this. There's multiple colors. There's pur uh, purple, green, red, orange, and all the all the colors that you could think of is all it's all in here. But they're just like different colors and stuff. They're the same animation, but they're just different colors. So I thought you guys should know that. But anyways, now what you guys will need to do is simply just all right. So once you guys have done that, now what you guys will need to do is simply just um, grab a sticker and probably the circular one, which I'm gonna do right quick um where's it at there you go and then now you guys want to enable the color and just simply tap on it and just do the green screen animation one again so right now um i'm gonna come like probably right here to where it does that part and i'm gonna move this back as well and then what i'm going to do is i'm gonna shorten this one and now we're going to go to the key animation of course and we're going to just, just do that simple as that so now you guys will get this that little effect animation so yes so now all right so now what you guys have done that simply what you guys want to do is just tap on the sticker and go into out animation and have it fade so now it would like it will like fade in your uh your text and stuff so you guys can actually it will actually look pretty decent and stuff so now what you guys have done that you guys are pretty much done to be honest yeah uh, just play it through now what you guys have done that just simply back out of it and i'll see you guys in power Direct. all right so once you guys have done that opened up power director and stuff and now what you guys need to do is simply just edit um so i'm gonna do that real quick so i'm um, just gonna guide you guys through it and what to do if you guys don't know how to edit uh with power direct or anything like that so first thing you guys want to do is keep an eye on that little marker right here you guys want to keep an eye on that so you i'm gonna play it through so it stopped at f exactly four seconds so i'm gonna go back two seconds and simply cut it and i'll go ahead to 4.0 right here and just cut it now what you guys will need to do is drag this little cursor right here and put it inside of that little space right there and go into effects and tap on beating and there you guys go so and just simply just go do the same routine through to every single beat You guys might want to mix it up so it just won't like look plain or anything like that so that's what i like to do this is why i love like i love power director when it comes to editing intros and stuff it's great for editing intros i'll tell you that so um now what you guys have done that simply do the same routine Uh, uh, boom, I believe. Maybe that will actually look pretty nice. All right, so now I'm just going to, need to like cut like a bunch of times because, as you guys can hear in the background, you guys can hear it th 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 right there. So, I'm going to do that. Right there. So, I'm just going to cut this like a like a really, like, not as much, but like so much to the point it will like follow up with it. So, now I'm going to tap inside of it. And I'm going to tap on this and I'm going to have it flip. Nah. Um, 
I'm gonna have it rotate upside down. No, I'm gonna have it. I'm gonna have it flip. Yeah, let's have it flip. And then this one right here. We're gonna have this one uh, rotate upside down. So now it looks something like this. All right, so as you guys can see, you guys will hear that bass. So, all right, so there's a bass like right in the middle right here. So I'm gonna grab the cursor and add in a beating to that part. So now you guys can do something. It's the same routine, adding the effect to the point where it just ends off into it all. So yeah, so I'm probably gonna put that right there, maybe. All right, so now I'm just gonna cut a little bit more, like right there. I'm gonna cut it, and this time I'm adding a beating. Hopefully it'll add in. Nope. Uh, we're just gonna add that back in. We're just going to tap on it this time then. Just move the cursor. Probably right there would do. Yep. All right, so now it'll look like this. And now you guys can actually just like add in a wavy. I think you guys can add a wavy, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And then you guys are pretty much done now. Just save it, um, which I'm gonna do real quick. All right, so now what you guys have done is just simply tap on media browser. All right, so once you guys have added in a white background, now what you guys will need to do is tap on layer and go into video and go into power director and find your video and it, it will record, it will put it in actually 12. Like, I think it's, 1280 no it's not that all right so once once that's done now what you guys would need to do is just simply just increase it and fit the screen and then chroma key enable it go to key color put a green and now you guys get something like this That's pretty much it for this video, you guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys did, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I do intro tutorials and stuff like that. Comment down below what my next intro tutorial or what next tutorial should be. And I, again, I apologize if I'm like lack on uploads, you know, I'm actually trying to get myself together right now. So I hope you guys understand. Just uh, just hit the notification bell so you guys can know when I upload and stuff. But once you guys, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And please give the video a thumbs up if you guys did. And if this did help you guys out. And I'll catch you guys the next time with another video.